Greetings class, Chris Haskins here with the realestateroundup.com. My mission statement to uplift the financial literacy of my fellow mankind through real estate investing and entrepreneurship today. Got an unbelievable video for you once again. But before we get to the day today, what we're doing is we're tearing down a house. I'm gonna show you that how we bought some land and we're tearing down a house to make way for two new houses. Got some good footage for you. You're gonna see an excavator come in and tear it down. Trees moving all around, it's great stuff. But before we get to the live set, why? I wanted to ask you, why do you keep coming back to the Roundup? Thanks for coming back, my fellow Rounduppers. Why do you keep coming back to the Roundup? Is it because you enjoy looking at my sexy face, my smile, I'm so charismatic? Is it because you enjoy watching me on the camera and you never know what I'm gonna say? Or is it because of the way we kind of bring you into our videos personally? No, I'm telling you, it's not, it has nothing to do with me has nothing to do with me and what I can offer you. The reason you come back for the Roundup videos is because you never know where real estate is going to take us in a day. You know why you don't know? I'm glad you asked because I don't even know. I don't even know what's going to happen throughout the course of my videos. When I leave the house, I literally hit record and I start rolling. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Today, we just happen to be going by one of our houses that we're tearing down. We might be meeting with sellers, a motivated seller, a foreclosure. We went to a US Treasury auction. So it's not because you come back to the Roundup, not because you love it to watch me in my shirts, my fitted shirts, and my you like to watch my, my muscles moving all around that I'm working out and doing all this stuff for you. I do all that, yes. <laughs> but it's not for me, I am irrelevant. What can you learn from these videos? How can you grasp that real estate is so exciting? You just don't know what's going to happen day to day in real estate. And today, I'm going to show you what we're doing. I'm going to show you what we're doing. We bought some land here. We bought so here's the well, we bought a house. There's the house. Okay, uh, what is this? You did want to know what this is. This is the site plan, preliminary site plan to build a new construction, all right? But before we get off, I'm not gonna get too much into how we put this together. I need you to understand what this is. I need you to understand what this is before you can get into the moving parts of how to do all this crap, right? The, the master painter has to have in his mind what he wants, what he wants the painting to look like before he can get into the moving parts of putting the paint on, how to put the paint on the canvas, right? So I need you to understand what's going on before we get into the how-to. All right, so this is a house we bought. So you can see the house here. Here is the land that the house is on. <clears throat> Here's the land that the house is on. So if you see, the, the land goes from here to there, but the house is right in the center here. So Greg Pennio says one of the three pillars of real estate, and this is gonna be a whole other video, I'm gonna talk to you about how we subdivided this how, keyword, how we subdivided this land is gonna be the next video because I need you to understand the what first before we get into the how to. So, we bought this house, came with some land, and we subdivided it. If you look at this, let me get my little pointer here. If you look at this line right here, we literally subdivided it. So now we have two lots that we could possibly possibly build on, but there's a lot of moving parts that I wanted to share with you on how we put all this together. But I just want to open your mind up to, to, for you to kind of ponder what is out there. So we're literally, real estate, I love it. You can take something and create value just like that out of thin air. Create value, just like Eddie Murphy said. Just like that. You can create value just like that. We bought this one piece of land and we drew a line right there, turned it into two pieces of land. Oh my goodness, I hope somebody is feeling me on that. How can you create something out of nothing? That's how God works. That's how God works, something out of nothing. So it was one parcel, we turned it into two, and today we have to get rid of this house. This is, you see, existing residence. So the architect did the drawing for us, and we need to get rid of this house to make way for the two houses we're gonna put on, this two, on these two lots. So on our, on our next video, I'm gonna talk to you more about the moving parts 
of doing the subdivision. What do you look for when you're looking at properties to see if they can be subdivided? So much to share with you. It's never ending. Real estate is not going to end because they're they aren't creating any more real estate so, so let's go ahead that's what we're doing today hope you got a quick picture a quick snapshot of what our training is for today we're tearing down the property you're going to see how that actually happens but what it is if we're tearing it down to make way for our two new properties all right let's get out here to the site I'm going to take you on site once more one more again uh oh don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel Please comment on the content below how we can, what, what would you like for me to share with you as, what, as if what I'm sharing is not enough. So you're gonna see this dude literally take excavator and just rip a house apart like Pac-Man, almost eat it up. So let's get on to this property, guys. Let's do it. class we are here finally at demo day on the property there was a tree dying in front we had to take it down I don't like taking trees down I know one of my lenders hates to take trees down I don't either but it was dying it was falling down so we had to do that but I want you to see how this guy is just toying with these tree trunks I mean no doubt they weigh every bit of 3,000 pounds. I mean, one foot can weigh a thousand pounds. Good God. Picks them up and just throwing them over there. Now he's literally setting them into the into the dumpster. They, they put the, that, they're going to put the tree in there and then they're going to start demoing the house. So this is going to be some good training for you today as we get started with our new two new bills and tearing down this house. Remember, Expandability. That's what the key focus is on this one here. This is unbelievable. You can take this joint and set it up there. Unbelievable. Now I'll show you a picture earlier of this front yard looked like a hurricane came through here when he was putting the tree limbs in there. But you can see right on the corner of the house there, right there where the tree fell. I wasn't here to get that footage, but I try to get as much as I can. And you'll see the time lapse video also. up that I mean that thing has got to weigh I don't know another 2,000 pounds good god setting it over in there lays it ever so delicately I guess he's gonna probably put some more stuff down in there to, and that they were gonna hold it from flying off Okay, so sorry about that. I had to switch to the second day. We had we had some issues yesterday with the permit. So we got our permit. You saw yesterday that they took the tree out. So I just had to give you a quick cut, give you a, a continuation, if you will, of our timeline. So today is finally demo day again. We are here ripping up a house, guys. Tearing down a property. So you'll see it from start to finish. We're gonna show you the time lapse. You can see he's already, he's only been here for about 30 minutes. I mean, I don't know how long he's been here, but it hasn't been long. They called me an hour ago and said they were on the way. Let's go take a look at her on the side. Hey, bro. What's up? Hello. So he is, I mean, it's unbelievable. He took a tree down in what, two hours yesterday? Less than that literally just pulled the tree, pushed it over. I saw that video. 
So we'll get out here and get this house torn down. We'll get it completely excavated, right? For our two new houses. We're gonna also tear this garage down, so that's a whole nother. And the shed. Yeah. And the shed. What I'll do is tear it down and throw it into that dumpster there. I guess the can track trailer. So he'll make several trips to the city dumps and just literally throw the house into the dump. Break apart like it's butter. It's very sobering to see a house get taken down, isn't it? Absolutely. We all live in houses. How delicate they are. How man can it takes three to six months to build one. Man can come by with an excavator and take it down in a day. And mother, and mother Nature can take it down in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it's very sobering. A tornado or a hurricane, right? I see. Here's grandpa's chair. Or grandma's chair. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. house. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. Ah! Oh my lord. Unbelievable. It's almost like he's a Pac-Man. <laughs> Just chomping away. Oh my goodness gracious. It's unbelievable, Smitty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my lord. Oh wow. Oh my goodness gracious, just chomping away. Nobody's under there. I don't think they would be. Unreal. That isn't a shot. Got the neighbors out hanging out. What up, my brother? Neighbors chilling. So push it over. It's a good door. Should have probably taken that door. Like he's gonna fall in on something. Oh my lord. I wish you could hear this the way I'm hearing it. It's like thunder when he hits that house. God. <laughs> Unreal. 
You going in there? You gonna get some scrap out of there? You gonna try to run in there and get some? There goes that. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna have seven years bad luck. This is unreal. There he goes, Pac-Man. I think this thing's gonna be down in about 30 minutes, Todd. You think less than that? I mean, oh my lord. This might be down in the next about 10 minutes. This is unbelievable. Mirrored wall. That thing must be really putting out some force. What do you think? No idea. A little bit. We got a weight to it, man. We need to bring it down. Oh, bringing talk about bringing a hammer down. <laughs> I would not want to be in there. Somebody left their bag. He picked that thing up, didn't he? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I was gonna ask him to pick up the top. He will. That's grandma's mattress. Oh yeah, sure is. So we'll be here with the demo, just bringing you updates. To let you see how this thing is going. I thought it was so cool to be able to share this with you. Because actually, I had never seen a demo live until today. What about you, Smitty? You seen a live demo before? I have, but not up close. Not up close and personal? Not this close. <laughs> this is pretty cool. There, no, you know what that is? That's mm. your old furnace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Of value, metal. That was your furnace. That thing looks like a piece of sheet metal. He saw it. There he goes. I think he's going to... It didn't take 30 minutes. It didn't take 30 minutes. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Oh my goodness. It's unreal. Oh my goodness. It just sounds like thunder. It's like... That's it. Wow. That's that. And that's real wood he has up on that roof. I like that wood siding. Oh my goodness. I think this dude could probably do two houses in a day. As fast as he is. I don't think this is his first house. He said he told me he's done uh, probably a hundred in the last four months. So about one a day. <laughs> Good lord. 
So that goes to show you that a lifespan of a house, depending on how you take care of it, 50 years. They just did not take care of this house for anything. For nothing. And let it go all to hell. That's it. House gone. Let's go to lunch. House is gone. I can't believe it's gone. I mean, it's just amazing that you can take a house down a couple thousand bucks and it's gone. And just drag it away. Dump it in a box, carry it away. Yeah, that must be electrical wrapped around this wheel there. Unreal. So now it's time for him to uh, zoom. I don't want to zoom. I don't want to zoom. He's getting that tractor trailer, the one that was sitting here, the big old dumpster on wheels, and he will back that in. See him backing it in. So cool. Looks like he's just going to back it right in there. Literally putting the house in the dumpster. I mean, good God. Talk about heavy equipment. Woof. Huh? On the racetrack? I'll pass. That's what was in here. Must have been in the attic. You think? This is what he was picking up with the crane, or with the speco. Oh, oh racetrack. I wish. Nah, it's a broken up racetrack. A couple years ago, I did a demo job in Virginia Beach. We found 28 gold coins. Oh wow. Worth about $35,000. Holy cow. What'd y'all do with them? Well, I, I took, I went to give, I found the coins. I found like eight or 10 of them. And Holy then I called shit. the other two operators down to help me and they picked up about eight a piece. Holy I cow. I gave them to the guy I was working for. <clears throat> he turned nice. around and told me, keep them. So I said, look, I said, I ain't keeping them. I said, why don't you take half and I'll take half. That sounds fair. His grandkid and his daughter, who were running the other two machines. You, I've got my camera on. You mind? Is it okay? No, go ahead. Yeah. They wouldn't give him anything. Why not? They were just that kind of pretty people. They were that yeah. kind of people. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, Part of were, life. My, the coins I had were worth probably around twelve, thirteen thousand. dollars You're joking. What are you going to do yeah. with them? Oh, I sold them. Oh, they're gone. Oh, yeah, because I know either I'd lose them, <laughs> I'd put them somewhere I couldn't find them, or the kids would take them and spend them on Pokemon cards. <laughs> Or, or video games or something like that. So. You're joking. <laughs> oh, serious. Gold coins serious. in a house? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, a couple months back, I, I found five silver coins. I bet I you have. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I bet you found a lot of stuff well, in that these. That garage, I mean, look at the stuff in there. Who knows what's... We found out. some antique ice cream machines. Nice. Uh, I found a, a, a wooden barrel like they would use in the old fountain, like a soda fountain shop. Yeah. That disperse the, the syrup. Back when he used Old to pour school. syrup and then oh, put, wow. the, put the foam in yeah. it. Foam in it. <laughs> I'm just worried about this thing tipping over. You ever tipped over? Oh yeah, that's what he told you. Well, I laid one in a uh, when they went in this. Yeah, he said, that's right. A couple months back, I had a, a basement and I had pushed a bunch of stuff up underneath the basement and I thought I had the whole basement filled in and I didn't. And I got up in the corner right next to a big fireplace. Dropped down and the boom laid up against the fireplace. Oh, oh man. <laughs> so I called a wrecker, but by the time John got there, I went ahead and took this back to the across the curve, put a chain on it, and my original thought was to just pull the boom off the fireplace, and it turned out that when I pulled it, the machine fell down on the other side and straightened itself out. Wow. And it will walk right out of the hole. Unbelievable. So basements, we don't get a lot of houses with basements. Yeah, yeah around here? This is a dangerous job. 
Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, I know. I know one guy got killed. How? He picked up one of those concrete pilings, and I guess he was trying to flip it over, and he had it in the tip of the bucket, it fell out of the bucket, and came straight back on the machine. Another kid up in Williamsburg, he was picking copper on a big hotel job, and the operator shift grabbed the hold of the, the concrete for the second floor, and all the cinder block walls were standing up, and they fell over like dominoes. Fell over, yeah. And he was on the end. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, I see you wobbling almost like this on some. Almost the floor. When you hear that big loud popping noises, that's the floor joist break. Whenever you hear a floor joist pop, look for the machine to do a. Unbelievable. Guys, I'm gonna try to get you as much as I can on this site today. Oh wow. The next thing is to start dumping into the, what is that? Into the dumpster. It's a big old dumpster too. How you doing? amazed at how a house can be here today and just gone in the next few hours. Unreal. Whew. Damn, no Alright, this has been today. I'm, I'm gonna... Just for, just for the sake of time, I'm going to just give you the time-lapse version so we don't have to keep hanging around to watch this work. Now he's just cramming it all in. demo I just want to show you a beautiful day a beautiful spring day in the Tidewater area you can see this beautiful water I had to share it with you so maybe you want to give them a nice panoramic shot there and our wonderful tunnel backup traffic yeah, always so in the Hampton Roads area class we have beautiful water views however the tunnels for some reason when they built them they figured one tunnel each way would, would be enough. We need double tunnels everywhere, which is really what we need. We need four tunnels on every tunnel. But as you can see, the traffic's backing up and it's how it is. So I just wanted to give you that little taste of the Tidewater area. Bring it right into your living room or wherever you're watching. Oh, by the way, this is Hampton to Suffolk. No, 
Suffolk to Newport News. And let's see if I can give them a view of some of the ships over at the naval base. There's a couple of aircraft carriers sitting at the piers over at the Norfolk naval base. And you got a merchant vessel inbound. And they're riding high on the water. So they're probably coming in to load up with something. Yep. Nice. All right, let's get to this house. 